Karen Bryan for M. Mahita. I'm here with Chris Tickle from The Ultimate Fighter Live. And Chris and I were just talking about it. He finally got to go out last night after being in the house for, for months. So uh, how good did it feel to get sprung from the house? Uh, you know, it was great. You know, get out and talk to people and uh, see civilians again. Uh, it was fun. What have people said to you about the season? I'm sure people have come up to you and commented on what, what happened. Um, you know, thought it was funny. Um, they liked me to be on the show and, uh, you know, I heard it was a great, great season. I haven't watched it yet. Now, here's the thing. On our Facebook page, at the beginning of the season, when the names were first announced, you know, sometimes if you pick a horse race, you just you like the name. And we said in there, we hope Tickle goes far, because you, you got a pretty epic name. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Dana, Dana uh, teased me about that when he first met me, but uh, I like my last name. That's good. Now, I have to say, um, when I was talking to Dominic Cruz yesterday, we were talking about you, and, uh, you know, I, ag I agree with him, like, what he was saying in the season, that... It felt like sometimes that you weren't you weren't fully committed and you didn't you know push yourself as much and that you know sometimes oh I had an excuse to not do this so looking back on that and that whole experience how do you feel about that and do you think that that is truly represented who you are? Um, when I first came in the house, I had uh, fractured ribs, so I was pretty injured coming in the house. Uh, you know, I trained as hard as I could. I got ill, but um, you know, I I did train as hard as I could, and uh, it was kind of nerve-wracking not knowing what my family is doing my kids and uh, you know it was hard to stay focused sometimes but uh, I pushed through and uh, at the end I pushed hard because as a, as a viewer and you know you know there's so many guys that want to be in that house you could see you could see why people would give you a hard time about that like oh he's there and now he's not trying as hard as I would try if I were there you know oh no we train I train hard as hell every day you know I didn't miss one practice and uh, gave it all I could win you know I was hurt but uh, I did the best I could yeah, I mean that's the thing. You're gonna have to learn to deal with that anyway, right? Everybody fights and trains hot, busted and broken. Oh, we train, we train hurt every day, every day. Who is your favorite uh, sparring partner in the house, or is, do you have a specific favorite that you like to work with? Oh hell yeah, Sam Cecilia, man. I mean that kid was like uh, Rocky versus Clubber Lang. <laughs> For real, every day beat the shit out of each other. And looking back, how do you feel about Dominic? You know, I, your relationship obviously had its ups and downs, but you guys seem like you're pretty cool now. What do you think overall of his coaching style and how he may have helped you guys on the team? Oh, Dom's a hell of a coach. Um, you know, he's a wonderful guy, and uh, he helped us out a lot, and uh, I'm grateful for that. So now that you did get your phone back and everything, obviously you said you wanted to check in on the family. Is that is that the first call you made? Was it your wife and, and kids? Yeah, I called my wife and kids, and, uh, you know, my mom and everybody. I love them, you know, and it was great talking to them. And what did they think about the show? Because obviously they've been watching week, week to week. They all, they all liked it too. They all, they all knew I am, so you know they liked it. So where do you come up with the epic pranks? Are those things that you've been mastering all along, or just in the spur of the moment came up with these ideas? I was just spur of the moment. We were bored as hell, you know, nothing to do, you know, try to make some people laugh. Well, they were pretty good. I liked them. They were pretty funny. Were they? I, I didn't even watch the show. I don't even know what's even going on. See, you asking me all these questions. I don't even know what's even going on. Well, there's some funny stuff. There's one point where you did the thing with the with his sign for his parking, but then didn't it break a little more than you thought it was going to break? Yeah, yeah. I was trying to actually kind of move across the street, and I uh, broke it on an accident. I felt bad. Oops, oops. So let's talk about your fight with Darren Crookshank. How do you see that matchup? Uh, this could be a hell of a fight. Uh, the kid's a brawler, so am I, and uh, someone's going to the hospital on that. Definitely. But speaking of that, though, do you think it's tough, uh, especially for the two guys in the in the finals? You're you know just fought last night. They're fighting a week from now. What do you make of that? And do you think it may be a little harder on these guys now that this format has changed? It's a little bit, but uh, you know we've been doing it all season, so we're pretty much adapted to it. But uh, you know we're all men and uh, hard fighters, so they do what they do. All right, Tickle. Well, good luck to you, and, and thanks for providing us with the entertainment over the season. Thank you. Thank you.